Okay guys, so we have all of our amendments here. Pumpkin is gonna help us out. Pumpkin. So first off, our main ingredient we're gonna be using is this Malibu compost. This will be about 25% of your mix. It says here, our compost nourishes soil inhabiting organisms. And it is made from dairy cow manure, straw, wood chips, and concentrations of yarrow, chamomile, valerian, stinging nettle, dandelion, and oak bark. And then we're going to move on to the worm castings. This will be about 15% of your soil mix. And I have two different brands here. Um, actually, this Alive Organics is actually a little better brand than the Agroin, higher quality. You can see here what it says on the worm castings. Natural answer to better soils and vigorous plants. Castings will provide essential nutrients to all plants will grow stronger root systems, will improve your soil by providing great levels of stable organic matter, helps uh, hold water holding capacity, same with the compost. So those are the two first ingredients that you really need. And then now what we're gonna also add is we're gonna remineralize the soil by adding rock dust um, two different types of rock dust this is this one is cascade minerals soil remineralizing soil booster good source of iron natural source of calcium magnesium and manganese so when you're eating you're going to be getting more vitamins and minerals in your food by adding this so there's no need to be eating multiple vitamins and all these supplements when you can get it in your food. Now this one, I believe comes from volcanic, derived from basalt rock, and I believe that's a type of volcanic rock. And then we have azomite, another type of volcanic rock. A to Z minerals, including trace minerals, is a natural trace mineral product mined in central Utah. Unique deposit was formed when ancient volcano erupted and its ash settled into a prehistoric seabed, creating a complex mineral composition. Azomite can improve plant and root growth, crop yields, quality, and flavor, as well as remineralize nutrient depleted soils. Wow, another amazing ingredient. Then our last, we have two more ingredients, is this BioLive. BioLive is like a mixture. It's from this down-to-earth company, Natural Fertilizers. Contains beneficial microbes. This is a special mix. You can see it contains fish bone meal, fish meal, alfalfa meal, crab meal, shrimp meal, langbanite, and kelp meal. Has all these different fungi. Um, endomycorrhizal fungi, ectomycorrhizal fungi, trichoderma, Saturamicides and other bacteria. So this is called BioLive, rich natural organic fertilizer featuring a unique blend of premium marine byproducts infused with a diverse mixture of beneficial microorganisms, select mycorrhizal fungi and bacteria species, rapidly colonize the rhizosphere and surrounding soil to improve resource utilization and enhanced nutrient uptake. One last thing. Now this is insect frass. This will act as, think of it as an immune system for your plant. Okay guys, so we have all of our amendments here. Pumpkin is gonna help us out. So two cups of this, this is the azomite rock dust from Utah. Pumpkin's gonna help us out. What's next, Pumpkin? Okay, two cups of the Cascade rock dust. You can see it's more of a black basalt volcanic rock dust, a different color. So there's gonna be different minerals. 
in the uh, different rock dust. So these are two of the best rock dust that you can get. Okay, so we got that out of the way. And then the BioLive, I'm gonna do six cups. So we'll do four cups of this. Okay, so we have this base right here. Let's just dump it here. I'm gonna just show you what it looks like. Let's go ahead and blend that. So this is very readily available this Bose, uh, Bose Blend Malibu compost. It's very available in the, here in Southern California at all the local, you know, grow stores, professional grow stores for gardeners. And getting high quality, you know, 100% organic, no chemicals. This is what you want to be growing your fruits and vegetables with. Okay, so I just dumped that right on top. So now what we're gonna do, I'm going to take my hand, push that out a little bit like this. Kind of spread this out a little bit like that. Now we're gonna sprinkle this on top. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a shovel, a flat shovel, and we're gonna blend this really good right here. And what we're gonna do is mix this, go around and round. And we're gonna just simply toss it, push in, and then flip it over. So, Spend a few minutes really mixing this really well. So I'm gonna push all the way through this pile, all the way through the middle, and actually move the pile about two feet to the left here. That way you guarantee that you're getting all the way through to the middle mix really well. Okay, now we're looking pretty good. I'm pretty confident. Try to break up these dirt clods. Looks like it's these worm casting dirt clods. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now let's get our mix. Here's the rest of our mix. Okay. You spread this around the top a little bit better. The amended soil just to get it spread out. Okay, let's start mixing this. all the way into the middle really hard you can see getting all the way into the middle again getting rid of some of this stuff I don't need those roots
know now this is ready to go for the garden and then we can mix up the other batch so anyway guys that's how you re-amend your soil for your new garden containers or in ground if you're going in ground you can mix this with the existing soil uh, maybe 30 percent existing soil and then 70 percent of this mix and you can plant you know your trees or whatever you want in the ground as well it doesn't need to be thrown away it just needs to be re-amended so there you have it guys well, i got a lot of work to do i got a ton of peaches to harvest today actually i think i got about 300 peaches to harvest today they're getting ripe so back to work folks we'll see you next time and get to planting Keep on growing organic. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, look at that. A ton of avocados. Mm -hmm.